It's Weekend Update with Colin Jost and Michael Che. Welcome to Weekend Update. I'm Michael Che. I'm Colin Jost. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> the impeachment trial started this week. Am I crazy or was Adam Schiff on my television for 100 hours straight? <laughs> Even when I turned the TV off, there was still an outline of him burned into the screen. <laughs> What happened was Democrats spent three days laying out in great detail how they believe President Trump has been the most egregious abuser of power in American history. And then Republicans laid out their defense, the shrug emoji. <laughs> Mitch McConnell, uh, seen here calmly watching an orphanage burn. <laughs> Mitch McConnell defended his plan for the trial, saying the country is waiting to see if we can rise to the occasion. I would maybe say you're not rising to the occasion considering one senator fell asleep, uh, Rand Paul was doing a crossword puzzle, and some Republican senators even brought fidget spinners to play with, I assume to symbolize how the Founding Fathers are spinning in their graves. You better than me, Carl. I didn't watch one minute of that trial. It was like a four-day-long PowerPoint. This is supposed to be Trump's punishment, not mine. This whole impeachment is like a bad episode of Maury. There's all this evidence that Trump clearly cheated and Republicans are still like, but Maury, he loved me. <laughs> Trump is so confident he's gonna win, he's using Jeffrey Epstein's lawyer to represent him. Talk about credibility. Who's his character witness? R. Kelly? <laughs> Lindsey Graham also said that President Trump was bored by the whole impeachment trial, which isn't a surprise since Trump typically loses focus halfway through his own sentences. For example, here he is this week talking about Elon Musk. He's also doing the rockets. He likes rockets. And uh, he does good at rockets, too, by the way. And I was worried about him because he's one of our great geniuses, and we have to protect our genius. You know, we have to protect Thomas Edison. <laughs> We have to protect Thomas Edison? I think that's a line Nick Cage yells in National Treasure. <laughs> Joe Biden then rejected the idea of testifying in the impeachment trial, saying, I want no part of that, while his son Hunter Biden said, wait, how much does it pay? <laughs> I mean, maybe I'm paranoid, but I'm starting to think Democrats actually want Trump to stay in office. Because every time he does something crazy and racist, they're like, oh, no, don't do that. I mean, you're telling me the United States government can't figure out how to remove a crazy dictator? We've been practicing all over the world for like a hundred years. <laughs> We're kind of famous for it. That'd be like if Jamaica forgot how to unwind. <laughs> And now, he, and now a recording has surfaced of President Trump telling adult Cabbage Patch doll Lev Parnas <laughs> that, he, that he wanted the former ambassador to Ukraine fired. Here is the audio. Get rid of her. Get her out tomorrow. I don't care. Get her out tomorrow. Take her out, okay? Take her out. I would maybe choose your words more carefully when you're talking to someone who looks like a professional car bomber. <laughs> Also, how is a random person able to secretly record the president on his phone? I mean, they take away your phone if you go to see Dave Chappelle do stand-up. <laughs> and speaking of recordings, Rudy Giuliani on Friday launched a podcast called Rudy Giuliani Common Sense, in which he offers his defense of President Trump. It's the first podcast ever recorded and uploaded accidentally from a pants pocket. <laughs> The title of the first episode is, I swear to God, since no crimes exist, it must be dismissed. And according to reviewers, Rudy was once highly regarded, but now seems mildly... Re <laughs> I can't read <laughs> <laughs>